Okay, today we're going to learn about meteorologists um, and what they do, what they study, how they help us. Um, I know that's a tricky word. It's even trickier to spell. Trust me on that one. Um, so repeat after me. Medi er all o just meteorologist. Good. Like I said, it's kind of tricky. So we're going to find out about what they do. Here is our table of contents. Um, and this book is a little bit different than the ones that we've been using. It has a little bit more, um, has a lot more words, um, but I think it'll be in good information for us. So what is a meteorologist? A meteorologist is a scientist who studies weather. Weather describes the atmosphere. Sunshine and rain are part of weather. Air temperature is an important part too. Meteorologists observe the atmosphere. Strong winds and rain might follow a pattern around a city. A meteorologist studies the pattern. Then they use the information to predict the weather or guess. The work of meteorologists is important. People listen to their forecasts, that's their predictions of what the weather will be. Weather reports help people plan their days. These scientists also monitor storms. Some storms can be dangerous. This includes thunderstorms and tornadoes. When a storm is coming, meteorologists warn people. Early warning helps people stay safe. Some meteorologists study long-term weather patterns. They make predictions far into the future. Their work helps people, such as farmers, make plans. Um, let's see, um, which facts can we read? We'll read Robert Fitzroy created the first weather forecast in 1861. It helped sailors avoid bad weather at sea. And Clint Yule gave the first televised, that means on TV, weather forecast, or <laughs> on television in the United States in 1949. Meteorologists sometimes drive to places where storms are happening. This way, they can study weather up close. Seems kind of like a scary job sometimes, driving into the bad weather. Meteorologists work in the field of STEM. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or math. STEM is a developing field. Jobs in STEM change as new tools and techniques are created. Meteorologists use science to do their jobs. Scientists do experiments. These experiments help people learn how the weather works. Meteorologists also use technology. This includes computers and satellites. They may work on making new technology for studying weather. Engineers solve problems. They may work with meteorologists to build devices to measure the weather. Meteorologists with math jobs explore patterns, shapes, and numbers related to the weather. They collect data. The data or information is put into math programs. These math or these programs make weather predictions or the guesses. There are many kinds of work in meteorology. 
A person who studies climate change is called a climatologist. A research meteorologist may do research for the government or for colleges. Forecasters use advanced math and computer programs. They use information to make guesses about future weather patterns. And it says here that satellites circle the globe. They take pictures of the weather and meteorologists use the pictures to make forecasts. Weather prediction centers. Some meteorologists work for television and radio stations. These scientists study local weather, like what's happening in their, in their community. They let people know what the weather will be. Most meteorologists in the United States work at government sites. They help leaders make important decisions based on weather. Others conduct research. They study climate and future weather. Meteorologists work in many locations to predict the weather around the United States. They, help, they may help people know which clothes to wear or help them keep safe when, da when dangerous storms form. There's a storm prediction center in Oklahoma. The Weather Channel um, headquarters is in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, AccuWeather headquarters is in Pennsylvania. And the National Weather Service headquarters, that's the main offices, are in Maryland. Some meteorologists work in offices or laboratories. Often, they travel to different places to observe the weather. They collect data about air temperature and wind speed. Sometimes they travel to see storms in person. They may observe weather from the ground or from the air. Meteorologists also visit places after a storm has hit and they look at the damage the storm caused. A meteorologist may travel to meet with other people, including local leaders, such as mayors, Together, they talk about how they can help people prepare for weather. They work on plans to prevent damage from weather events, like if in when we had the tornado here in Charlotte. All in a day's work. Most meteorologists use computers every day. They write forecasts and briefings. Briefings explain the current weather conditions, what's happening right now. Briefings are sent to different groups. This includes business and government offices. These groups then plan the day's work and events. Meteorologists also write reports that cover long-term weather predictions. Reports require research. That means a lot of studying. Often, meteorologists work in teams to write reports. Many meteorologists work extra hours during dangerous weather. They come to work early and leave late. Sometimes they miss meals and get less sleep. These meteorologists are on the news. They share weather warnings. This includes harmful ultraviolet or UV levels. People can pr then protect their skin and eyes. Meteorologists also track air quality. They alert people when the air might be unhealthy, or right now for us, the pollen level, all that yellow stuff that's on your grown-up's car, oof, it makes me sneeze. Um, it says up here, meteorologists must be willing to report the weather as if it is happening, as it is happening, even if it means they might get cold or wet. <clears throat> so this is like a sample day, a uh, sample schedule of their day. Um, 2.30 in the morning, the meteorologist um, arrives at the National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida. He studies the most recent hurricane data. The data comes from satellites, aircraft like planes, ships, and land-based radar. 
At three o'clock in the morning, the meteorologist looks at the hurricane's path. That means where it's going to be traveling. He contacts local weather centers in the path of the hurricane. He kind of gives everybody a heads up. At five o'clock in the morning, he meets with other meteorologists. They look at storm data. The meteorologists try to figure out if the hurricane might cause tornadoes and coastal flooding. At 7 a.m., the meteorologist talks to a news reporter about the hurricane. The interview is shown on national news. He tells people how they can prepare. At 8 a.m., the meteorologist studies any changes in the hurricane's size and wind speed. The meteorologist writes a new tropical cyclone public advisory. It will be shown on news programs in places affected by the hurricane. At 12 o'clock in the afternoon, the meteorologist watches the storm as it gets closer to land. He sends out evacuation notices to all people in the storm's path. These let people know it is time to leave and go to a safer place. Using the scientific method. We already talked about this, so I'm actually gonna scoot along. Um, and we talk about it when we did um, oh, our own experiment with the straw and the feather. Um, so we're gonna skip over that. Tools, this part's gonna be important for the next lesson that we do, um, but it is important to listen to right now. So tools of the trade. Most people learn about weather by seeing what is going on around them. Forecasting the weather requires more advanced tools. Meteorologists use tools and advanced technology to help in their work. Oh, we've been using this one pretty much every day. The thermometer. <clears throat> Thermometers measure air temperature. A thermometer is a glass tube filled with liquid, usually mercury. When the air around the tube is hot, the liquid expands and moves up the tube. A scale on the tube shows the temperature. So we usually use, um, I'm gonna zoom in on this one, we use the left side, it's called Fahrenheit. That's the one that we use. Um, but other people in the world use um, this side for Celsius, but we use this side. Okay, um, this is a barometer. A barometer is a device that measures air pressure. There is a metal box inside of a barometer. When the air pressure rises, it pushes on the box. When pressure falls, it stops pushing on the box. Falling air pressure means weather will be stormy and wet. Rising air pressure means dry and sunny weather. I would rather have rising air pressure. <laughs> okay. Um, up top, we have a rain gauge. A rain gauge is a tube-shaped instrument. Some look like glass cups or buckets. They have a scale on the side to show how much rain is inside. Meteorologists use a rain gauge to measure rainfall. All right, and then down here, just because this one looks really cool. <laughs> An anemometer measures how fast the wind is blowing. It shows the wind's direction. There are cups or blades attached to a bar. The wind makes them spin. A dial attached to the anemometer shows the wind's speed and direction. The meteorologist's role. Many meteorologists work for airlines. They tell pilots, the people that fly the planes, what to expect. Other meteorologists work for electric companies. Their work predicts energy needs during heat waves. Meteorologists also work in emergency management. These scientists often work for the government. Their predictions determine where 
help is sent in weather emergencies. One way they do this is through a program called Disaster Risk Reduction. It gives people early warnings of natural disasters, um, just like when we had our tornado warning here in Charlotte. Um, people learn when they should leave their homes before a storm. They can find out about safe places to go. They can also get their homes ready. People can place sandbags around their homes. Sandbags keep water from coming inside their house. People can also put plywood over their windows. This keeps their windows from breaking because of high winds. The Disaster Risk Reduction Program also helps people, pre people prepare for severe or extreme winter weather, earthquakes, and drought. Okay, we are going to read this on the side. It says the difference between weather and climate. Weather and climate are not the same. Climate is the weather pattern of a place over time. Weather is the state of the atmosphere at a specific time. From 1970 to 2012, weather, climate, and water related events caused $2. trillion in damage worldwide. That's a ton of money. And uh, we'll skip to the next page. Ah, becoming a meteorologist. People who want to become meteorologists like working with numbers. They enjoy doing science experiments. They are interested in nature. Would-be meteorologists are curious about how weather is created. They are interested in how humans affect the climate. Students who want to become meteorologists enjoy studying data. They are skilled at drawing conclusions. That means coming up with a solution at the end. These students should take science and math classes in high school. Students learn about heat, energy and electricity in physics. Chemistry teaches about teaches them about elements. There are different elements in the atmosphere. Would-be meteorologists should learn to write and speak well. Meteorologists learn how to use many tools. Weather balloons float into the atmosphere. They send data back to the meteorologist. And that's all we are going to do. Here is our vocabulary page in case grownups want to go back and read about it. Um, but that is a little bit about meteorologists and what they do and what they study. Um, and hopefully you'll get to watch um, Mr. Brad Panovich's videos um, that I sent out uh, so that you can see a little bit more what one of our local weatherman um, meteorologists can do. Have a great day.